Hello everybody, welcome back. More years spending in cake decorating business, you will have more stories to tell, cake stories to tell, including the disaster cake stories. When we're talking about disasters, it's not only one, there is so many different ones. It can happen in the kitchen, but also mainly happening during delivery. What are they? Impact to the cake, the road is not right, okay? For example, the driver is just drive like crazy, it's too fast and too slow, sudden changes, and then there's somebody jump in front of the car and you have to brake, the cake doesn't have a seat belt, all those things problem. But today, I would like to talk about only the temperature problem and how to make sure that the cake arrives to the destination in the right condition, like you put it in the box. Every time a problem happened, we start thinking and then make sure that this is not happening again and we come up with different ideas. So I'm sure everyone has a kind of solution for that temperature problem. I have also one and I'd like to share with you today. The first thing to do, we have to fold the box properly and secure the box properly with the sticky tape. Make sure the cake doesn't drop on the floor after you lift up. So, I need some height here. Be generous in this side. Make sure it touches 20 centimeter here. All right. Okay. And and also to seal the air inside, the cold air doesn't escape completely. I will also secure the sides. And it makes also box, especially at the bottom side, very strong. That's it. So now we have to secure the other side. Okay, do the same thing on the side. Okay, and the other side. All right. Now you probably think I forgot to put the cake inside, but you're wrong because I'm gonna cut a nice lid out of this box. To find out where to cut the lid, I have to bring my cake on the side of the box. I like to use my example cake, the fondant scenery cake as a winter theme. Uh, this cake is here, been done about, uh, about few months ago and you have a tutorial for this if you want to know in the nsv.com. So just go up about 10 centimeter, go straight and then mark the box. That distance is good. When the lid comes down, the other flaps inside is not going to be sort of touching to the cake. Let's remove the cake from here so we have some more space. And then the next thing is take the box, put it on its side and then come at the side of the table. And make sure that the box is straight in front of you and you put your blade here and then it is not difficult to go very straight down just like this and then pass through the edge and then when you turn like this you will have also the indication where to start go down if I'm at where I started I'm pretty good with estimations and see how good will happen okay so then come back here and with, with the same corner, I was about one centimeter wrong, but it's good. It is already good enough. So remove that lid. All right. So that is the box and that's the lid. I don't want to have this lid so big, so I'm going to reduce a little bit. 10 centimeter flaps is already good enough. You see, when you put the box sideways like this, it's pretty easy to cut. All right, that's it. We are ready. Now, if I take the cake and try to put it over here, it will be completely uncomfortable and very dangerous. So you have to put the box somewhere down, which you can reach from top down. I use most of the time milk crate or some sort of like coffee table or something. When we put in the cake, we make sure that there's some sort of positioning the cake is very important. I like to put like this because I need those corners. So that's why I place it like that. Now, next thing is I like to secure the cake. It doesn't move around like this. So I have a very simple solution for that. 
My solution is just using styrofoam blocks, gluing with the hot glue gun, and sometimes I use also just the corrugated uh, off cuts uh, cutboard. It will be all strong enough. All right. So uh, let's do three of the styrofoam, one cutboard. I'm putting hot glue gun inside the box, not on the styrofoam blocks, because if I do that, it will be just melting in no time. All right. Only here, some. Okay. And then here also again, some. And here also, some. So I'm gonna leave the other side for the cut part. And then now you go back to the first one because this one already cooled down a little bit, all right? Put this one here, this one there, attach to the board, and this one in there, all right? And this part, I can use my hot glue gun here. That is already more than enough. And then place this one over here, that's already secure, right? So the cake cannot move anymore around. I'm, I'm telling you the cutboard also because you may not have the star home blocks, and so this is completely okay. This is already strong. It's a bit wobbly here, but it doesn't matter. It will just strong enough to hold it. If you don't have out glue gun, which you must have because everywhere is available, you can also use double-sided tape, but you make sure that you choose the strong and quality one because some of the double-sided tapes are just comes off in no time. If I'm looking for a cold object inside the box, I can go and get the dry ice, all right? But do I have every time dry ice ready? Because if I buy dry ice earlier, it will just disappear and I have to go and get again. Every time I have to travel. And if I use a kind of like a special uh, tablet that which comes from the supermarket or from, from special suppliers, I have to provide that all the time, it costs money. I don't use all those things. I use only 1.25 liter bottles, which comes in empty, Coke bottles or soda water, anything, Sprite or anything. So uh, I have them always in my freezer, at least six of them filled with water and frozen, just ready to grab. That costs nothing. If I take these bottles, put in a box like this, it, it will be so much condensation, it will be so much water inside the box, even just the, the bottom of the box will be wet, even the cake will be in danger. To avoid the condensation problem, I wrap these bottles around the newspaper. Today, I don't have newspaper and I just used the flip chart uh, paper. It's exactly the same quality. It's absorbed the water. So don't use silicone baking sheets because it will not absorb any water. The water will flow right away down in the box. All right, just make it like this and wrap it like that. All right, and use a little bit of sticky tape. Make sure there's not everything flipping around. So, and then at the bottom also, piece of sticky tape, just secure it like this, it's ready. So I have to do one more. So next step is to putting, placing these bottles inside the box, one after another. And then make sure that you have some wires standby. So I have two kind of wires over here because I just have them available. Uh, just the green sort of like wires that uh, you can call this like a gardening wire. So because my wife is using that for his for gardening. And this one is my uh, flower, flower wires, which is softer and longer. So uh, let me use this one. That's already strong enough. When you're entering the box, you make sure you're not touching anything. You just make check the place. Is it good enough or not? So just take it out. Don't place it right away. And then you place your wire first. So the bottle is here. I'm going to go somewhere a bit more, more than half on the top. So poke this one here first. It goes easily in. All right. And then go out from the similar area from here out. And that's it. My place is ready now to put the bottle inside, all right? Once I'm placing my bottle here, I can hold the bottle and doesn't fall on the cake, all right? From outside the box. Okay, now all what we have to do is pull this wire and then secure this one like that, all right? Of course, you can use some snapper or plier or something. You can snap this off so it doesn't hurt anybody or just leave it like this. Now this is done, one side. I'm gonna turn the box around and do the other one. 
Make sure that you're using the opposite size, the weight is balanced. If your wire too thin, you can poke with the stronger wire first. Okay, and then poke on the other side too. Okay. All right, then you can use softer wire. Here. Here's out. Balance it halfway through. Make some space. Place your bottle in slowly and carefully. And then pull this bot wire nice and strong so that you have your bottle is really secure, is nothing can move that. And just do that, or you can just snap it off. All right. Now I like to prove to you that what we're doing over here makes a big difference. All right. I have here my infrared thermometer. So I just placing inside and then checking the temperature in there. Okay, what I see over here, 22.8, 22, 22.9 degrees, all right? Now, I like to place my lid on the box and then leave this cake like this about 15 minutes and I'll get back to you and then show you the new temperature inside. We know that this lid comes from the same box, exactly the same size. The dish should be a little bit smaller. So I'm just gonna bend this one slightly inside the corner like that. Then it will be easier to go in. First this way. Then this one sits, right? then comes to this plate, push a little bit, and it goes in. So, because the lid and the box exactly the same size, it fits really tight. Now, we're gonna wait about 15 minutes. I'm gonna open the box and I'll show you with this, the weather is cooler inside. Okay, 15 minutes is passed. Let's open up and check how many degrees inside. Ooh, I can feel it already cold air comes out, all right? So I'm just checking up here. 19 degrees on the cake, and then close to the, uh, to the bottle, about 15 degrees. I have already uh, enough coolness inside the box to deliver this cake in the next two hours, at least in the summer months. So that will bring you a very long distance. Uh, don't forget, there's another two space inside to put another two bottle, even make it cooler. That is all for today, guys. That was my instant fridge for cake deliveries. And thank you so much for your time. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll be back every Tuesday with new tips and tricks. God bless you all. Till to the next one. Bye for now.